I have made a full Mario Kart home circuit course out of the downstairs of my house. It's very cool. It's not, okay, I've seen a lot of people make courses online, intricate, recreating actual Mario Kart courses. No, didn't want to do that. I wanted to take my living room and see it from another point of view, a very low down to the ground point of view. <laughs> so let me run you through my first Mario Kart course because I'm sure I'm gonna make a ton more of these. I love this thing. This, it's so cool. The starting line, and by the way, I have a really shiny nose because I have a giant pimple that has made my entire nose red and the studio light is bouncing off of that thing like I'm Rudolph the Red Nose freaking reindeer. It's Halloween, nose, not Christmas. When you start my course, you'll go down the Nintendo Switch stretch right behind me here, made up of loose Switch games and all of my Switch console boxes. Oh, you'll also see cats make an appearance. They're a hazard in on themselves. Then as you turn the corner, you'll go through chair chasm. I didn't really come up with a name for that. It's all my kitchen chairs. You drive underneath them. Then you'll come up to Moldy Mario Cereal Corner because that stuff's got to be moldy by now. I'm not opening it to check. Then you go along down the back of my couch, which I don't know why I love this, but I do. As you come out from behind the couch, you'll hit G Fuel Corner where you can stop and fuel up with code beat em ups for 10% off <laughs> but don't actually stop here or else you'll lose the race then you take a sharp Wii U turn down along the back of the coffee table and past the spooky Halloween lanterns then as you come out past the coffee table you will see the backside of not only uh, the Nintendo Switch stretch but my actual backside and as I attempt to avoid all that junk in my trunk I go around the King Kong Cat Tree, where my cats like to sit and bat at the Mario Kart as it goes past. By the way, if I didn't say already, they love this thing. And then you're back to the start, ready to go down Nintendo Switch stretch again. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, well, I've already told you that I love it. So before I show you Kim and myself playing it two player. What is happening? Oh, I mounted you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Let me quickly show you how easy it is to set this guy up and start racing. Okay, first step, you buy the thingy. It's 90 bucks. But honestly, you get a full Mario Kart game with loads of courses, unlockables, and more. And you get a remote-controlled Mario Kart card. Then... You have to open the thingy, pop the legs out of the gates they give you. By the way, I love the old 90s Mario look they used on the gates. So cool. Throw down the gates in any order you want. Download a free app from the eShop, sync your cart to your Switch, take a goofy picture for your driver's license. <laughs> And within five minutes of opening the box, you're creating your own courses and crashing into your cats. Hitting mushrooms for a quick boost both in the game and of course seeing your little toy cart get that boost as well. Even the driving and steering, it almost feels identical to driving in Mario Kart 8. There was so much thought put into this and it's so fleshed out for what it is. This isn't just some cheap idea and some gimmick that kind of just barely works, bare bones, there it is. This is a full Mario Kart game that just so happens to have you build your own courses and it's set in your own house. There's so many other things that keep blowing me away, like literally blowing me away on a course with a massive sandstorm. It'll pull the cart to either the left or right and you have to counter steer into the storm or else your real life cart and obviously in the game will veer off course and probably hit something like my G Fuel stacks. <laughs> talk about what you get in the game. Obviously you have single and multiplayer modes supporting up to four remote control carts which hopefully means somewhere down the line we'll get more characters than just Mario and Luigi. There's 50, 100, 150 and even 200 CC modes as well as mirror modes which will flip your house around and it's really weird seeing a space you're used to 
backwards. There's eight cups to race, each with three different courses. Or you can roll the dice and do three random courses. Each course comes with its own augmented reality theme. Enemies, power-ups, and hazards, even weather. There's radio stations you can unlock so when you explore your house, you can do it in style. Time trials, custom races, customizing your AR cart with loads of cool unlockables, customizing your gates to look how you want, or to activate an ability like a boost or seeing my game room backwards. And of course, creating whatever kind of course you want to race on. You do need to use all four of these gates in your course, but it doesn't matter where you put them, as long as you go through them at some point. So you can still add in turns, loops, U-bends, or whatever you want around that. You don't need to use the extra little arrow signs they give you either. But I do love using them on a turn where I've made a bunch of bends, but there's no gate nearby because it tells you which way to go. They light up rainbow bright on your Switch screen and they show you the way. But there is one massive flaw with both the Mario and Luigi carts that not only will render the carts useless, but could possibly even brick your Switch. And it's something that you can just accidentally do while playing. So whatever you do, no matter what, do not... Hold that thought. Uh, my Luigi cart finally arrived. I don't know why it was so hard to find Luigi. I had to order him separately and it took an extra week to get here. So Kim and I can finally do two players. We haven't set it up yet, but I've got a very basic course, just a circle set up so that you can see the whole thing. I'm wondering how long it's gonna be before they release new carts with other characters that people like. I am surprised they didn't immediately release like a bunch of different- Peach. Yeah, Peach, oh. right? Oh my God, race with me. <laughs> I can see you. Well, I guess I can see you anyway because it's real life. <laughs> it's weird, it feels a lot faster when you're looking at the screen, like it feels like you're blasting around the room. But when you actually take a look at the cart in real life, it looks like it's moving really slow. I really love the way it transforms the gates. Like look at that. It doesn't even look like the cardboard gate anymore. I love every time we circle past Simon, you can see him in my camera. It's so surreal because it, it honestly feels like we're just racing in Mario Kart. You could honestly not even have the carts down here and be having just as much fun on the screen because it's still Mario Kart. It's just like, there's a whole added element of fun because I can see our carts racing down there in front of us. This is your first time, I mean, okay, so you helped me film some footage, but this yeah, is your yeah. first time it's actually, actually racing. racing with it. I like it, I think it's really cool. So like, yeah, like right now I have a chain chomp yeah. and it's pulling me in speed bursts periodically so my cart in real life is getting these little bursts of- What is happening? Oh, I mounted you. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. I also like idea. that up top, it tells you your Wi-Fi signal, but also your gas. Yeah, I like the gas. As in how much electricity or how much battery you have left. And it lasts a long time. And when you do have to refuel, uh, you actually lift up the, the flap on the side, like you're gonna gas it up, but you put the charge cord in it instead. Oh, look inside! Oh, I did. I'm sorry, buddy. I wasn't looking. Oh, uh, the one thing, it, it kind of, it depends on what kind of carpet you have, but it's not great on carpet in general. I've seen some people that have the real, like, matte, low carpet. Yeah, like the... They can get away with it. We have more of, like, a shag carpet, and it bounces. Well, the two-player works, and it works really well, <laughs> and it's awesome, and I love it. Okay, I hope you had fun watching the video. I had a lot of fun making it. Please remember, if you want to help support the channel and everything I do here, uh, hitting that subscribe button and clicking the bell. Those two things really, really do help. And they're free, so I mean... And if you want to go that extra mile, I'd appreciate you following me on Twitter and on Twitch. I live stream three times a week. Oh, right! I didn't tell you the thing that bricks your switch. I better hurry up because this video is about to end. Whatever you do, make sure you don't 